Okay, we're going to take a little aside and look at another Walter Fent demonstration um, that shows uh, the lecture notes have been talking about a little ball on a turntable, uh, how it uh, is uniform circular motion. Uh, the projection of it is uniform circular motion, and this this uh, little app shows it. Uh, if you notice before we start, the um, this represents an angle of zero. Uh, well, the cosine of uh, zero is is one, and the sine of zero is uh, is the sine of zero is zero. The cosine of zero is ninety. And if you look at if you look at this, the the I don't know if it shows the uh, cursor or not. This dot up here this represents the x, it's uh, 1, this represents the y, it's 0. And I'm going to play this in slow motion so you can see uh, how it starts. Uh, you can see x is decreasing, so this red ball is coming down. The y is increasing, it comes to a maximum here. And uh, we'll see it as it sweeps around, it sweeps out a... Uh, uh, a sinusoidal uh, curve. We can uh, uh, there. We're just looking at the position, the position vectors. Here we can look at the velocity vectors. This is the velocity vectors. The, the velocity is constant. The circular velocity is constant. But you can see that the the x and y uh, velocities are are um, changing. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the uh, screen, you can see the VX and the v, VY. You can see them. You can see them changing. Uh, you can even see the acceleration. The ex acceleration is. Uh, uh, if you notice the blue, the large blue uh, vector going towards the center, that is the centripetal acceleration. We're not discussing that right now, but you should have had centripetal acceleration. It's always uh, center seeking centripetal acceleration is center seeking and you can see that blue vector is always towards the the center and if we look at the force this would be a force that either comes from uh, a gravitational acceleration such as a uh, a satellite orbiting uh, uh, the earth in in truly circular uh, orbit it, it would have a, a gravitational force towards the earth a center seeking uh, force or it would be the tension on the string as we swing a ball around um, so this is a nice little demonstration we don't have to go in slow motion you can see the uh, there's the force the, you'll see the, the force and the acceleration are always in the same direction and there's the uh, here's the velocity uh, going around it's constant velocity the large purple and then uh, the position vector back to showing how the uh, sine and cosine are swept out by circular motion. Okay, I uh, hope this little demonstration helps. And we'll.